tell our audience about the benefits of, uh, in terms of job opportunities, this initiative will uh, generate because we are at the business today, best business schools and HR summit. No, so uh, yeah, I, I you know I I I, I meet uh, students uh, very regularly. I go to campuses very regularly, and I say uh, uh, to you now what I say to them uh, when I meet them, which is that the the world of uh, jobs related to the technology ecosystem is just rapidly increasing. Uh, but the underlying characteristic or the underlying defining attribute of those jobs is that there is a lot of high skills required. Uh, for example, in the electronics manufacturing segment alone, in the last two years, about 12 lakh new jobs have been created. Uh, as you get into higher end electronics, electronics design, semiconductor design, semiconductor manufacturing, there are lots of jobs that are going to be created, but at the very, very high end of skilling. Now, for example, the three announcements yesterday by LAM Research, uh, Applied Material, and Micron. I think will create not less than 80,000 jobs. Uh, but out of those 80,000, I think very clearly, in my opinion, 65 to 70 will be seriously high capability jobs, which are global standard jobs, uh, whether they are VLSI, characterization, quality, whatever, manufacturing process. And so uh, I say to students nowadays that even if you're doing an electrical engineering degree or an electronics degree or a co computer science degree or an MBA or whatever the degree is, you certainly need an industry-specific, domain-specific skill. So um, I, would, I constantly ask people that, do, look, you, you do an MBA but also do a certification program that aligns your broad knowledge to a specific domain capability and skill that you can acquire from anybody. And so one of the things that LAM Research is doing with the uh, Government of India's skilling ecosystem is to train 60,000 highly, highly qualified engineers using a simulation environment of a fab, which they call the semiverse, like metaverse. They mm -hmm. call it semiverse. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, so 60,000 engineers that could find jobs anywhere in the world. So th that is the kind of skilling uh, sort of demand that is out there, for which there are hundreds and lakhs of jobs. So while I encourage people to go, of course, you should have a degree and you should do your uh, graduation and post-graduation. Never forget that in this modern, new changing workforce or new evolving workforce, skills are almost as much at a premium as degrees are.